Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting episode in the series. It's Mike with OneShare Recover It, a professional data recovery software for any of your data loss needs. I hope you find these videos helpful to solve your computer and Mac issues and providing with some valuable information to deal with your data recovery issues. If you are new here, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you stay updated for any future videos. Let's quickly jump into today's topic. So in the next few minutes, I'll be, oh, seriously? My computer is restarting. Well, that starts off today's topic, which is yet another common problem we face in our day-to-day -day lives. If you know what I'm talking about, the restarting problem on your Mac, then you are 100% right. In today's video, we are going to discuss different solutions to help you solve this problem. Before that, we need to know why your Mac keeps restarting. Software and hardware issues aren't new for this tech-savvy generation. There are many reasons that can lead to your Mac restarting, but we'll discuss some of the primary reasons here. First of all is an outdated macOS system. So the number one reason to your system restarting again and again is an outdated macOS. Especially when you are using the latest tools and software on old machines, you can find huge compatibility issues. This is why you should let your operating system update automatically. The second reason is a third-party software. In some cases, a third-party software can also create problems with your machine. If your computer shuts down because of a problem with third-party software, it might be due to a kernel panic. Sometimes just adding a peripheral device or third-party software can start problems. If you sense that this is something like this, then remove the software or accessories that are connected and then see if that works. The third reason can be a kernel panic. Yet another reason for your computer to restart can be due to login accounts, which can cause a kernel panic due to small errors when restarting your computer. This situation can be resolved by resetting the NVRAM or the PRAM or by resetting your hardware settings of your Mac. The fourth reason could be deep-rooted errors. Moving on to more serious and deep-rooted errors, if your system hardware and macOS are corrupt, it can put you in a very difficult situation. You can try to reinstall macOS, and if that doesn't work, then you need to try an external tool or software. So these are some of the primary reasons that can lead to you into an endless struggle with your computer system. But the best thing is, is there are solutions to every problem, and that's what we're gonna talk about. If your computer was restarted because of a problem due to an outdated software, just updating the software can solve the problem. Outdated software can create a kernel panic, so updating is a good solution. So what I want you to do is check each individual software and make sure that you have updated it. You might need to head over to the software developer's website and download the update there. Also, try to uninstall the outdated software that might be causing the errors and reinstall it again. This will help with your Mac restarting errors because outdated software can lead to compatibility issues. If it doesn't work, the you can try to upgrade macOS. If you are working on your MacBook or iMac and your computer is restarting because of a problem, upgrading your macOS can be the solution to your problem. To upgrade your OS, go to the Apple logo into the corner and then click on About This Mac. Then go to Software Update. If you are not running macOS Big Sur or if you are watching this, potentially macOS Monterey, then you will see the option to upgrade to this here. Click on Upgrade Now and follow the on-screen instructions. However, if you are using an earlier macOS, then you need to head to the App Store and search for the latest operating system there, download it and install it. Another common problem leading to the system restarting is malfunctioning peripheral devices. Therefore, the easy way out is to disconnect the peripheral device is easy to disconnect peripherals. The safe way to do this is just to switch off your Mac, then disconnect all accessories like printers, fax machines, mobile phones, etc., and then restart your computer and you should be all good. There are times when you are unable to figure out a solution to why your Mac computer restarted because of a problem. In such situations, it is good to use Apple Diagnostics. 
Apple Diagnostics will help you identify the faulty element and provide you with suggestions to solve the issue. To run the diagnostics, you need to prepare your Mac first. Shut down your Mac, disconnect all external devices and place your computer in a stable surface with obviously good ventilation. Now you are good to start with Apple Diagnostics. If you have an Intel processor Mac, turn on your Mac and then immediately press and hold the D key on your keyboard as your Mac starts up. Then you will see the progress bar. If you have an Apple Silicon Mac, then turn off your Mac and then turn on your Mac and continue to press and hold the power button as your Mac starts up. Release when you see the startup options window, which includes the gear icon labeled options. Then press Command and D on your keyboard. Once it's completed, you should be all set. In case this issue arises due to a kernel panic, then you can try to repair disk permissions. Using a third-party tool, like Clean My Mac X, can solve many issues related to your Mac. It's simple to use and effective. So here we are going to use their repair tool. Download and launch Clean My Mac X. Head to the maintenance tab on the left column and then check the box next to repair disk permissions and then click run. Wait for the process to complete and done. If this doesn't work, then try our next method. Small errors with the booting process leading to a kernel panic can be fixed by repairing the disk permissions. To do this, all that you have to do is just reset all the system files used on your Mac. If you are using an Intel Mac, restart your computer and press and hold the Command plus R keys. If you are using an Apple Silicon Mac, turn on your Mac and continue to press and hold the power button until you see the startup options. Then click the gear icon labeled options and then click continue. From the utilities window in the Mac OS recovery, select disk utility and then click continue. Then select the hard drive in the next window and choose first aid. Wait for the repair to complete and you're done. If that doesn't work, then let's check the startup items to fix why your Mac keeps restarting due to a problem. At times, the startup tools on your Mac can restart your computer because of a problem loop due to clogging up your Mac processor. The best way to deal with this is by disabling unnecessary startup items. These are the simple steps that will help you disable these items. Go to the Apple logo in the corner and select System Preferences from the Apple menu. Select Users and Groups option. Now choose your user account from the list. Click the Login Items tab to get the list of startup items. Choose the startup items that you want to stop and then select the minus icon. Now restart your Mac. If you follow these simple steps, your kernel panic issue should be resolved. If it still can't be resolved, then you can try to reinstall macOS. In some cases, the kernel error is due to corrupt macOS files. In this case, reinstalling the macOS is the only solution. All you have to do is shut down and restart your Mac. Then hold the Command and R keys to enter the macOS Utilities feature if you're using an Intel Mac. With an Apple Silicon Mac, turn on your Mac and continue to press and hold the power button until you see the startup windows. Then click the gear icon labeled options and then click continue. Select reinstall macOS and wait for your computer to complete the reinstallation process. Now you understand the different methods to identify and resolve your restarting error with your Mac. However, you will have to be careful about your data during this process. There is a big chance of losing your data when your computer restarts automatically. If it happens, don't panic, as there is an easy solution to recover all of your lost data and files. To recover lost data from a Mac, we recommend using Wondershare Recover It Data Recovery for the Mac. It can help get back your documents, photos, or video files, plus thousands of other file types from your Mac easily with just three simple steps. If you need it, download the free trial and use it for free with the official link in the description. All in all, we hope the next time your computer restarted because of a problem, you'll know exactly what you need to do. If this video was helpful, then please hit that like button. Also, share your suggestions and queries in the comment section below. If you are new here, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.